All right. Would you like to start tonight's part well, off with a mini boss? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! It's the best. <laughs> uh, welcome to part seventeen of the uh, Paper Mario playthrough. Um, yeah, starting off with mini boss. Let's go. Oh boy, that's right. This is the gimmicky one because we're technically fighting this guy in the dark. Um, the darkness mechanic is only used like twice in the game, I believe. The first one being here. Um, oh really? Yeah, it's a little strange, but it's kind of whatever. Um, yeah, you can only target the lantern because it's the only fucking thing you can see in the room. So you can't <laughs> <laughs> you can't actually target the fucking ghost guy. And uh, he hates bright light, apparently. So, yeah, he does that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So now you can't attack him again because you can't fucking see. Even though he's holding the thing. But that's besides the point. <laughs> oh, I think I... Okay, I think I get how it works. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have to be able to see him to attack him. So you attack the light first to make it brighter. Right. right. Yeah, and once you're able to see him, you can actually target him. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah, I think this gimmick is only used like one other time in the game, and it's a uh, it's kind of uh, lame actually. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> that, <laughs> that fucking hurt. But uh, yeah. Well, you weren't here last week, right? Was I? I don't think so. I think that. Was, oh yeah, that's right. That was when your internet was out. Oh, yeah, that's right. That did happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you, you missed out what happened. Yeah. We're in Chapter 4 now. Oh, um, okay. We're going to actually end up finishing Chapter 4 by today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there's that. <laughs> uh, we're in Chapter 4. Um, this is Shy Guy's Toy Box, so all the enemies are Shy Guy's. So that's fun. Hmm. Um, yeah. And so we're just uh, just traversing through the thing. Yeah. This is one of the more unconventional dungeons in the game. Because uh, basically the entire chapter is the dungeon. And you have to go back and forth out and in of, of the dungeon. Or, <laughs> oh boy, I love backtracking. <laughs> it's not as bad as it sounds. Okay. Yeah. Because the entrance right to it is in Toad Town. Hmm. Yeah. So it's not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, this is not the first dungeon of Skyward Sword. <laughs> oh dear God! Uh, never forgive that game for that. <laughs> Stupid fucking bullshit. God, that's Skyward Sword's weakest link. You know, it's fucking bloated backtracking bullshit <laughs> oh god i hated it <laughs> if any of you want to know how my my feelings towards scarlet sword please subscribe to the channel and check out the <laughs> <laughs> yeah wait, 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 watch our, our our 50 something long part at a playthrough of skyward sword <laughs> in one yeah. sitting no shit. <laughs> <laughs> what 20 times 51 uh I don't know how to convert that into 60. Yeah, that's... <laughs> um, 20 times 51. I think there's actually, like, a like a website or something where you can take, like, a YouTube playlist and it actually, like, it actually tells you how long it is. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So I, yeah. I remember this because at one point, uh, me, Hunter, and Landon found this fucking, like, Ram Ranch playlist and it had fucking, like... <laughs> it had, like... 500 videos in it or something like that oh god <laughs> and, so we, and so we were just like i wonder how long it would take for you to like watch all this in one sitting and then we found we found some kind of tool like that where you can actually just put in like a youtube playlist and it tells you how long it is oh that's fun at least there's yeah. that i wonder if the guy who made that uh had 4,000 videos in his watch later playlist hmm <laughs> 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 New party member. Yippee. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so basically this little spark of joy, I think, was inside that little lantern thing. It was making the thing bright. 
Um, oh. Yeah, so you get a new party member. whoop de doo um, Also, so say hello to the most broken party member in the game. <gasps> hello? No? <laughs> Nothing? Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is Watt. Um, yeah, she is probably the best uh, companion in the game. Because uh, uh, only not she's not really useful in the overworld uh, part of it. Because all I can do is make invisible blocks visible, and uh, that's something you wouldn't really know to check all the time unless you're just walking around with a uh, uh, Watt by your side the whole time. And not every mm -hmm. area has invisible platform. Oh, think of it like fucking the vision power up from Sonic Superstars. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Thank you for explaining it in a language I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you re remember that useless piece of shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. But in combat, that's when Watt really shines. Haha, <laughs> get it? Shines? Get it? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> I made a funny. Please laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'd be funny if I added, like, a laugh track to my soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Super Shroom, that's nice. So, is, um, is Watt, like, a, like a baby or something? Because they kind of look like one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With, like, uh, the thing in their mouth. Yeah, it's a, it's a baby thingy thing. Uh, the tongue looks like a pacifier. So, uh, yeah. Oh, that, that's the tongue? <laughs> I think. Either that or it's an... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's a nose. I actually don't know. I guess... If, I've always just looked at it as a fucking pacifier tongue. That, 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 that's kind of what I thought it was. <laughs> Maybe it is a nose. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> Squidward. Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling Big Nose, Big Nose? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just a weird design. I think Watt is supposed to be a, uh, a, a hothead. You remember those enemies from fucking Super Mario World? Oh, yeah. I think that's what she's supposed to be. Huh. Because all the companions are... Well, at least in this game, not... Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've noticed a lot of the companions you get are kind of based on, like, like enemies you've had from, you know, other Mario games and stuff. Right, like Cooper, the Koopa. Yeah. Can't get that. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Cooper, the Koopa, Goombario, the Goomba, Bombette, the bob -omb. Paracarry, the paratroopa, then <laughs> fucking uh, <laughs> Bo the Boo, then fucking Watt the, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Watt the whatever the hell he is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> yeah, those guys in the overworld have a lot of range. It's kind of, uh, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Look at all those fuckheads running. <laughs> mine, 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 mine. <laughs> <laughs> that is so the shy guys. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, here's the chapter boss. General guy. Yeah. <laughs> General guy. <laughs> General guy. I, I like it too. Yeah. You didn't get to see yeah, it. It was the family guy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get to see it, but Shy Guys Toy Box, like, they're all Shy Guys, but there's there's actually a lot of enemy variety within the Shy Guys themselves. Like, they, you had your common ones here, then there's, like, ones with Jester outfits that, like, did dance moves and shit. And oh, that's cool. Yeah, there are flying ones, and then uh, ones that f had a fucking slingshot, and then... <laughs> Yeah, there's quite a bit. Oh yeah, the classic RPG staple, the enemy that heals its uh uh friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you have to kill that guy first. 
Ah, uh, yes. The Shy Squad. Yes, that's me and the boy. Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me and the boys be like. <laughs> exactly. The Shy Squad. <laughs> Us pulling up to any fucking bar whatsoever. <laughs> I don't think shy guys are used very often in uh, in Mario games. Uh, not particularly. Yeah, not that I not that I recall. Um, yeah, because they were introduced in uh, Mario Two USA, and by yeah. that they're just a. <laughs> and by that I mean they are an enemy in Doki Doki Panic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. But they've been around in like the spinoffs and stuff. But yeah, just, like, yeah, I, I, I think you usually you see the shy guy kinds of enemies in like the Yoshi ones. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's where they appear more. That's right. But in the actual Mario games, yeah, huh? Just not realizing that, huh? I think they're in Mario sixty four. Like a fly. Uh, yeah, there's flying ones. Fly guy, that's right. Yeah. Oh, and I, I know that because I saw a, a YouTube short uh, kind of recently about so someone talking about how you can crash the game with them. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Um, so, like, because normally they, like, fly around and they shoot, like, projectiles at you and stuff, and they, like, uh, alter their size a little bit, they, like, shrink a little bit as they're shooting stuff at you. Really? Um, but what, what you can do is you can, like, get underneath them, and, like, if you keep, like, moving back and forth underneath them, they'll keep trying to, like, shoot at you, so they keep shrinking and, like, not expanding correctly or whatever, and they eventually get so small that they start, uh, like, growing in, like, negative numbers, and eventually they get, like, so large that the game just can't handle it and it crashes huh yeah fascinating <laughs> okay i guess that's a thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> you can't actually attack the tank right now you still have to face off against the uh Let's talk in military terms now. The first battalion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he sends out like three different battalions first before you can actually, before he actually gets in the fight himself. Yeah, you have to take out the troops first. Right, exactly. Man, sacrificing his own men to the hands of an Italian plumber <laughs> with, <laughs> with a hammer. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit earlier in the fight, uh, I used a Volt Shroom. Um, I that's probably the only time you'll ever see me use a Volt Shroom. It basically gives you uh, an electric uh, counter attack. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you don't even have to do anything. It's just sort of a passive ability for three turns, and so and you won't take. I think you'll take minimal damage from it, but it just means that the enemy will also take damage, touch damage from it. Uh, I see. Yeah, so that's really nice. I use it against the fucking shy squad because they could just gang up on you the more uh, members that they have in there. But yeah, no, the effects worn off though, and we're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna knock a guy off of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> God, I oh no, here comes an airplane! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> There's a second. <laughs> oh, it's a tragedy! <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes the first one. <laughs> Time to take out the second way. And down it goes. This game also came out 2001. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> man, man, look at those towers of um, the shy guys there. They look like twin. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now it's general guy time. Yeah, I haven't used Watt in combat yet, but I will uh, use, use her right now. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Whenever you... 
<coughs> oh my god, there's a frog in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whenever you get a new companion, they always start off at level 1. And at this point, I found a couple of those upgrade blocks. So I think pretty much almost all my party is at uh, level 2 now. So, uh, yeah. So that means uh, even... Even though you just got Watt, uh, Goombario is still uh, uh, hits harder than Watt does now. Mm. Yeah, but that doesn't negate the fact that Watt is still broken. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to f stop taking fucking damage. Here we go. Yippee! Let me show you. This attack right here pierces defenses. Oh, yeah, pierces defenses, and it is super simple to do its fucking uh, attack. You just hold down the button, wait for the star to glow. So yeah, and it, it can get very powerful once Watt reaches level three, and it pierces all defenses. So right now, like it, it, you you're encouraged to use Watt right now because that tank has a defense of two, which is something Mario can't really break himself. So, yeah, yeah, that's why that's why it encourages you to have Watt. <laughs> Pierce's defenses, that is great, and it's so simple to do. Just hold down that button, bam. <laughs> <laughs> it is so broken. <laughs> Especially against enemies like, oh, I don't know, say Bowser. I mean, um, <laughs> with like a defense of four or some shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's broken. <laughs> That's why Watt's the best party member. Get fucked. <laughs> 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 PK Star Storm! <laughs> <laughs> that also pierces defenses. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it always does a, a damage of 7. And General Guy's dead. Let's go. <laughs> I was freaking <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you still here? Well, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't just beat him up, Watt. You paralyzed him to death. I mean... <laughs> but look at that. We did it, guys. We did it, guys. We saved the world. Well, the fourth, <laughs> the fourth world. <laughs> <laughs> End of chapter. This star spirit power. His name is Muscular because, uh, I guess he works out. <laughs> <laughs> Muscular, yeah. Um, arguably the second best star spirit power in the game. Uh, the first one being that star storm that you saw just now. Hmm. But al always does seven damage. Always pierces defenses. Always does it, and it only costs two star energy, which is fantastic. It is <laughs> it is almost abusable. <laughs> almost, it would be abusable if it were just one star energy. But <laughs> they 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 figured out they got to do some balancing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't let them go too crazy. <laughs> yeah, no. Star Storm is great, but this guy's power is also great too. Which you'll see later, maybe. Eh, yeah, you'll see it. 